Hi, in this video we're going to look at adding records to a MySQL database using PHP. So we're going to look at how to add data to a MySQL ta table and use the insert command to add rows and then we're going to test that with our contacts database. So to begin with, uh, we have a form, addform.php set up for you. So if you haven't, you can download that sample file. And you can see here, basically, it is mostly just a big print here document that has uh, our form for adding the content. We have includeheader.php. There's also a header PHP file there for you to use. And uh, let's take a look at that. So the header PHP file really is just setting up the navigation at the top of the page and including our HTML opening and head tags. So here's what it what these two things are doing together. So the header PHP file is at the top and that's going to have our navigation links that we'll work with in our contacts example. So we'll have one that's going to show the contacts, another one that will be here to add contacts. Later on, we'll do a user authentication to have to log in. And we'll also add a search feature. So the header contains all of those links and navigation around for our site. And since we're going to include that on many different pages, it made more sense to just create one single file that we can include every, everywhere else we want to use it. And then the add form PHP file, as I said, is just our form for adding a new contact. Later on, we will work with how to upload images so that we can have images in with our contacts. But uh, to begin with, we're just gonna do some basic text to add to our database. So we'll do another lesson later on how to work with images. So what we want to do is the user will be typing in email, first name, last name, phone, and then when they click submit, we want to insert that into our MySQL database. So to do that, we're going to be using the insert command, and you can see a sample SQL statement here, insert into contacts, values, and then we have null, and then our variables, email, first, last, and phone. And this will allow us to add a new row to a table in our contacts table. Now null is in here because we set up the database to automatically increment each new additional record that's get, that gets added. And so since we don't know what record it is, we're just going to put in null and the MySQL database will take care of adding whatever that next value is. So the steps for adding data includes making a connection to the database. So we're going to use that DB info script again. We create a safe query. Again, that's going to be on the right side of an assignment. We're going to run the query and then we'll display a confirmation. So you have a starter file called addsimple.php and we're going to do this, we're going to add information, we're going to do it a couple of different ways. We're just going to do a real basic one and then we'll do another one that has a little bit of validation built into it. So in addsimple we're going to make the connection to the database by using our require db info php script. And remember that has all of our database connection information. And then we're going to clean up and sanitize the data coming in from our form. Remember we don't trust our users. So we're going to use the filter bar function and uh, we'll sanitize the email coming in. So it's going to check it for an email and then we're going to sanitize the rest of this information. And that should take away, that should take care of any 
coding or injection attacks that somebody might be trying to hack into the server with. Then we create our safe query. So inside double quotes here is our SQL statement. And that's the SQL command that we want to execute. And notice in here we use our variable names. So dollar sign email, first, last, and phone. So whatever the user is submitting from the form gets submitted to our script, to our add simple PHP script. We clean the data up and assign it to these variables. And then we're going to use those variables to insert into our database table. So we're saying into the contacts table. So down here we run the query. So we're using the MySQLI query. This connection variable is in our DB info script. So since we're requiring it, that connection variable becomes available in this script. And then this is our query that we're executing. So if this is if this works, then we're going to have it include the header file and then display a message to say the contact was added and then the variable information that was added. Otherwise, else, meaning this failed for some reason and we'll say unable to add record. So once you have this code in, upload it and test it. Uh, once you've uploaded to the script, go to your add form PHP. Make sure your DB info script and show contacts PHP files are in the same directory. And then try adding new contacts. And then go to your show contacts PHP file and see if they're there. You can also double check it by logging into your PHP My Admin panel and going to the table and checking to see if everything is being up, being stored and saved to the table. Now, as we said, handling the auto increment in here, we used null, the null value, but there are a couple of other ways that you can go about doing it. So just in case you see other examples, we could use the number zero, we can use empty single quotes, and then as you saw, we could also use the word null. So hopefully your add simple script works. And now we're going to look at an example that has a little more complexity to it uh, because not all scripts are going to be that straightforward to add things. Often you're going to do some validation first to check. Even though we are sanitizing the in input and filtering it, uh, we may want to do some additional validation like checking to make sure that something is filled in uh, or run some regular expressions to see if something's in the right format. So I'm changing the script to add PHP and there's a couple of placeholders in here for some other functions that we're going to build out. So we're going to have one uh, to check to see if the fields are set up and one to see if things are empty and where you might have some other checking that you're doing. And then we're going to put the add data part where it actually goes to connect to the database inside that add data function. So in the add PHP file, we're going to create the validate form procedure. And we're going to use a procedure call to tell it, okay, after we get this data in from the submit of the form, then the first thing we want to do is we want to validate it. So that's going to call this validate form function. So I always start by just putting in an echo statement to make sure that it's getting to this point. So I would recommend putting in your function call and then an echo statement here and uploading this to the server. So then if you fill in your form, then when it submits it, you should see a message that says checking the form. And that way we know 
that it's getting into this point. Once you have that working, then we can flesh out the rest of the function. So we're going to validate and we're going to check to see if the phone number is not null. So if the phone is empty, then we're going to create an error message saying please enter a phone number. And if the phone and if we have a phone error, meaning if, if the phone error is not equal to empty string, that means there is an error. So if there is an error, then we want to do the add form PHP script. So we're going to say include add form and then exit, which means it's not going to continue doing anything else that might be in your PHP script. So if you were to test this now, things won't work because we have some other things that we need to get set up. But if you test it, you'll get an error that will say that it doesn't know what phone number is in here. Phone is created outside of the function and if you remember when we talked about scope that the scope of phone is available everywhere in your script except within the functions. And the same thing with the rest of the variables, email, first, last, these are not available in here. So in order for it to be able to check phone number, we need to get it into form. And we could do that by passing the variables inside these parentheses. So we're going to pass in our variables from our form, email, first, last, phone. So when we call the function, we're going to say, here's some stuff you're going to need. And then we're going to use, we'll just use the same variable names inside this function. So when it gets to here, it knows what phone is. When we're finished with this, and if there's an error, we create the error message and show the form. But if there isn't an error, then we need to, we're going to tell it to call the add data function. And add data is going to need these variables so that it can do the job to save this information to the table in your database. And now we can set up your add data function. And a lot of this, this is the same code from the last script where we did add simple. So basically you can copy that and paste that in here. And this is only going to happen if everything has been filled in. In this case, we're just checking for phone number, but as long as phone number has been filled in, then it will add the data. If it's, if the phone number is not filled in, then we're going to do something else with that. So we'll set that up uh, back in your form in a second. So copy and paste the code from your add simple PHP script into the function in here. Next, let's update the add form PHP. We have two variables that it's going to need to recognize. It's going to need to know a phone error. So if phone error hasn't been set up or initialized, then we're going to make it an empty string. And then the same thing with phone. If phone hasn't been initialized, then we're going to make it an empty string. Remember to update your form action to add PHP instead of add simple. And then to make the phone number sticky, we put inside here the value equals phone. And then we also print out phone error. And once you have those pieces in place, you should be able to go to your add form PHP script, enter some text, if you leave out the phone number, then you should see this error message in here. But if you include a phone number, then it should add the data to your database and display the confirmation that said it was added.